it's not safe. It doesn't look safe to me. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. This is what they're not doing home. Bro, what are you doing? And she's sitting there recording. Why are we recording this? And this could be serious. This is a danger. And look at the in the middle of the screen. She has a try. Like she she has a camera right up there clipped to a chair and her friend is recording. What do you guys think that this is? You're supposed to be changing a tire. They don't comprehend how dangerous this actually is. Thank God nobody was under the car or it would have crushed you. Probably you don't even have a tire back there underneath the back wheel. What's stabilizing the whole entire car? It's good that you have two jacks. But where is the stabilization? Why is the emergency brake not on? This is the type of stupid stuff that we, oh, we don't, we don't need a man. Well, you need some education. You could have hurt yourself. And y'all doing this for the plot. Okay, y'all, y'all keep it up, man. Like, I can't believe she has her phone clipped to the chair along with her friend recording. Stupid. cars is predominantly again dominated by men for simple oil change tire change and the, um, any kind of service that you're doing if i met most it's uh, the men that are doing it so you need the men to do this kind of uh, work on, uh, on cars so you can't go around preaching that you don't need men clearly you need men Oh my god, I cannot believe this is about to happen. Oh my god, how do you get it off? There's no gas cap. <laughs> she doesn't actually have to take it off Wait, at all. What are you talking about? Where's the cap? There is no cap. This is my god! There's no gas There's cap. no cap? There's no cap on the car. Is that like a new invention? Why is it not going? Why are you making me do this? Because you need to know how to pump gas. This the is baby is breathing in the fumes. It's not a baby. It's, it's a puppy. A baby. It is a puppy. It's are you done? Yeah, it's all the way up. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. Hey, where are you going? You forgot a very, very crucial step, actually. Baby, I didn't. Let's go. He is an hour past his uh, food. Babe, having to give him cheerios. Babe, listen, if I drive away right now, it might cause an explosion. It's not. Gonna because what? Because you left the gas pump oh. in the tank. I know how to get out of chocolate. Put me in a chocolate, I'll get out of look, it. Look, 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 look. She can't get <laughs> Hey, she can't get out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> she can't get out. She can't get out. She can't get out. I guess she thought that just dropping to the ground was <laughs> was going to make that man lose his grip. <laughs> this, this is what some of these modern women think is going to save them. Okay, in relation to my last video, here's the update. Okay, I know this may seem like something really scary. And should this happen to you, shuts it off. This is the lever that controls whether the pump pumps or not. So even if the handle is stuck in the pumping position, by pushing this up, it will turn the pump off. You want something? Uh, do you want something from the gas station? What? Do you want something from the gas station? <laughs> um. Oh yeah, the hot chill, the hot chill. Yeah, go. Give me a water bottle.
lot too. Can you pump gas too? Um, it's we're number six. I know, but I gotta take a call real quick. You don't let me know. Huh? You don't let me know. Why? Just put 40, we're on six. 40, just say 40 on six and just pump 91. Hold on. What are you doing? Why are, are you on YouTube? Because I don't know how to. <laughs> are you about to search up how to pump? Uh, I don't know how to. You're making me cry right now. No, I'm don't. No, just go real quick, please. Okay, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, okay? I hope you weren't here. Just ask like, me. Can you watch me? Because I'm scared. Yeah, I know. Like, just watch me because you know how people are. No, just. I would not about to go pump out. I'd never make you do that. <laughs> oh my God. No, Lottie, this is low key kind of cringe. I, I hope that this is a joke. <laughs> you don't know how to pump the gas. I mean, I get treating your woman well, but this is stupid. Like this. Who does this? Oh, I, I don't know how to pump the gas at your age. You've never seen anybody pump gas. Never, ever. You can't figure it out. A YouTube video in this day and age with cars everywhere for you not to know how to pump gas is crazy. And then for you, as a matter of fact, this might have started off as a joke, but this needs to be a lesson that needs to be learned. Even if you don't make her pump the gas, you need to take her out there and watch her pump that like watch me pump the gas. This is how you turn it on. This is where you put your card. Dude, this is not this is not cute. This is not funny. This is. This is downright depressing. So we have no gas. Don't get mad at me. We have no gas. How do we not have gas? It's a zero. And I thought that he was gonna pump the gas. What guy that pumps your gas? What are you talking about? <laughs> the gas station worker. I really don't want to yell at you right now. Why are you getting time. mad? I'm trying not to get mad. They don't pump your gas in Texas. Well, I'm sorry I don't go on worldwide road trips all the time. I was How? trying to let you sleep, Kaylee. Okay, oh I'm trying to be a good girlfriend. I'm not saying you're a bad girlfriend. I'm just saying like you should have won, not film. Well, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Don't, don't get mad. Right uh, don't get mad at me. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was pretty stupid. That, and then like he said, to be filming that—that's crazy. For you to continue driving after somebody's not pumping your gas. That would be the time to say, hey, it doesn't seem like he's pumping my gas. Or even if it's at night, hey, babe, I don't feel comfortable getting out. Can you pump the gas? That sort of thing. I mean, if you just wanted to be nice and let him sleep in the daytime, you'd have probably woken up anyway when you shut the car door. But if it's at nighttime, you could have. It seems like modern women, they do the stuff they're not supposed to do and then vice versa, like the stuff that they are supposed to be be doing, they don't do. Like instead of informing your man, hey, we need to get gas and I'm not really comfortable gassing up out here in the middle of the night, could you do it? And now we run out of gas and you're filming us running out of gas with the lights on and now possibly we have to call roadside assistance. Why 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 are we filming this? I don't I don't get it. Not this customer called me out for a leak underneath her kitchen sink. When I arrived, she let me know that she spent around five hours yesterday trying to get this fixed herself before giving up and calling me out to take care of it. The electrical tape was her last ditched effort to stop the leak so she could use the sink until we got out there. The hardest part about doing this repair for me was getting this electrical tape off. I left my utility knife in the truck and I was too hard headed to just get up and go get it. Once I got that tape off though, this was a fairly simple repair to do. That wet spot on the bottom of the cabinet back there was actually from the faucet leaking, which was the original leak before the customer took apart all of this piping. The hose connection for the pullout sprayer on the kitchen faucet was loose and that was dripping down into the cabinet. Of course, I tightened that down as well for her and tested everything to make sure there was no additional leaks. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. I hope y'all are enjoying the content. As always, let me know what y'all think. I don't know why, but this video is oddly satisfying. This is a this is a clean fix. <laughs> Great job. Okay. <laughs> if anybody would like to know how my day is going. This tire got a flat a while ago. And so I had to put my spare on it. This just happened to me as I was driving home. So I can't even put a spare tire on this. Which means I can't even go to work tomorrow. Because I can't put a spare tire on it.
<clears throat> but good news is, is I got a tuna salad sandwich from the deli that's near me. So I got my food. Guess we'll figure it out when I'm done. That, that, that didn't just happen. That problem started about 20,000 miles ago. A problem that started 20,000 miles ago. 20,000 miles ago. And now you're sitting here about to have to call out for something that should have already been taken care of. But hey, it's okay. We'll just make a day out of it. And it's nothing that I could have done. But you don't need a man, though. You don't need a man. Interesting.